I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in uh, November of 2011. When I heard Jan's diagnosis, I thought I was going to lose her. And that it was devastating. Pancreatic cancer is an aggressive tumor. Most patients um, have a pretty short life expectancy after the diagnosis. Initially, Montefiore was my first choice, but everybody wanted me to get a second opinion. After that, I said Montefiore was the place because the doctors made me feel comfortable and they were warm and fuzzy, and that's something that I needed for my treatment. She wanted a doctor that uh, gave good hugs, and so we hugged, and she said, you're hired. You kind of take everything that you've ever learned, every experience that you've had with a patient, all the things that people have taught you, your mentors, the things that you've read, and it sort of comes to this one point, and that's Janet. And you ask yourself, what can I do to help her? I gave over my control to them because I knew there was nothing I could do about this, and I was totally in their hands. We knew because she had been through this clinical trial that she had a really good chance of finding that we could actually remove the entire tumor. I think I surprised a lot of people, but I, I did it. And um, here I am to tell the tale. One of the hardest diagnoses to be given is a diagnosis of cancer. And we feel it's very important from the first time the patient hears that, that they have some of that burden lifted off of them. And so we look at it as wrapping a blanket of care around our patient. Everybody here knows somebody that has had a challenge with cancer. Uh, and when you have that kind of challenge, you want that kind of team. Everyone who has a diagnosis of cancer, every stage, no matter how advanced or early, and from every walk of life, is a VIP in our cancer center. Montefiore's missions are patient care teaching, research, and community service. And cancer is something that is central to all those missions. This is a huge community. There's a million and a half people live in the Bronx, 600,000 live in Lower Westchester, and that is our footprint. Everyone talks about breast cancer, but nobody ever really thinks it's gonna happen to them. So when it does, they are very nervous and they are very scared about the treatment going forward. Maureen told me that I was gonna be okay because the cancer was found in the very early stage. She reassured me she was there to help me. We laugh with them, we cry with them, we let them get angry at us. Whether it's trying to work through treatment so that they can keep their insurance and they can keep their livelihood, or whether it's just trying to help them with all their difficulties at home. I never thought I was courageous until this cancer hit me. That was when I realized that I, I was courageous. At the heart of multidisciplinary care is the tumor board. Each of the different disciplines can sit down together and discuss important points of each individual patient's case. Before the end of the conference, a treatment plan is made for each and every patient. When a cancer patient's going through treatment, it's so important to make sure that you take care of their mind, body, and spirit. And psychosocial oncology addresses that mind and spirit end of things. You can't take care of only the body without taking care of the spirit. It's making their experience of cancer a little bit easier. Although there's been a tremendous improvement in the cure rate for cancer, still many patients die of this disease. And they die because at some point the standard therapies don't work. And I have seen in my career patients that have benefited from something that was completely new when everybody had said there's nothing else to do. The home run here is the collaboration between Montefiore and Einstein. Montefiore has some of the very best clinicians you can find anywhere in the world. The Albert Einstein College of Medicine has what is considered one of the finest National Cancer Institute centers across the country. Our investigators are involved in national trials with the National Cancer Institute, with cooperative groups, we have therapies available here that aren't available anywhere else. In the future, rather than treating lung cancer per se or kidney cancer per se, 
we're going to be looking at the specific genetic defect in a tumor and tailoring the treatment to uh, attack that particular defect. Patients come here from all over the world. We have access to drugs and treatments, and we have clinicians that are hard to find elsewhere. And when they come here, they get compassionate care, and they know it. In 2010, I was diagnosed with leukemia. I had absolutely no idea what I was in for, uh, where I was going, um, what the status of my career would be, and what the status of my life would be. Thankfully, Vita went into remission after the chemotherapy, but we knew that without a stem cell transplant, it would be a virtual certainty that the leukemia would come back. We found a close to perfect match. Transplant took place December 2nd and thankfully it worked. I believe that what he does is what makes people heroes. He saves lives. He saved mine. We have worked very hard to bring the very best science, the very best care to wipe out cancer. That's really where we're going. I come to the caregiver center with cookies or whatever I baked that week, and I bring some into the infusion unit because the nurses there were absolutely wonderful. I don't think there's anything in the world that you could do to give back what they gave me. But everything I can do to support Montefiore, I will. Just recently, I did a motorcycle run, and all the money we raised was specifically for Dr. Braunschweig and the stem cell transplant and research team. I figured every little bit helps. I think we've made some progress in terms of the operations, the diagnosis, some of the new treatments that are coming down the line, and I'm convinced, I am convinced that we are going to beat this disease. I'm healed. I don't want to label myself as a cancer patient. I'm a survivor.